Hey guys, welcome back. I'm still eating, and you got stuff right here on your mouth, Thrifty. Wipe your mouth, boy. That's nasty. That's nasty. We don't get many breaks throughout the day, so we had to run and eat real quick. Hold on, because he got to fix this. He got to fix this. Wipe you your mouth, but I'm not. Here, here, here. Okay. Thank you, brother. There we go. So, the hockey game. <laughs> boy, it's a matchup uh, that never, <laughs> never ceases to happen, I would say. Right. Yeah, we've never seen semifinal. these, never oh seen these two play each other. Yeah. Quick, because we're about ready to start. Are there going to be any surprise goaltending things here? <laughs> we know it's going to be Chinny and Reds. Yeah. Quick synopsis. What, what's the, what are the keys to success for both teams? Quick. I think if you're black ice, you got to score a goal early. Um, I, honestly, either team. I think you got to score early. Um, establish that possession. Establish the, the game that you want to play. Dictate the terms. Um, Snipers, uh, they are so good at coming into the zone and setting up almost what look like kind of picks, but they don't. They kick it back out. Um, so a lot of, lot, of, lot of things at play here. Um, I, I do think, though, Dwyze, even if there's ever been a game that they're going to miss Billy and KJ, it's this one. Absolutely. They're a strong team. They've played through it. Now, I know I went on record saying I wasn't a big fan of the Snipers uniforms. Did they play every round robin game in white? No, they had one like this. I, I, I like these blacks. These blacks are better than their whites. I no, would for say sure. That. Well, because they're wearing George, black pants. You put us at 12? The Conics uniforms? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, not even, he's not even getting excuses. He's like, no, they're terrible. No, no. You guys know me by now. Like, <laughs> So straight up, it's crazy. I need. I've been told I need to back off on that. So. <laughs> but we can get there at a stoppage of play. Yeah. <laughs> Buckle up. The other Mooney trying to play his brother in the final, but this one's knocked away from him. Oh, big collision in the right corner. I think the power play has drastically fallen off too without KJ and Billy. Big time. Chance in front. Sigmund shoots. That one goes over top of the net. Good stick by Kozlo. Kozlo is the one who redirected that. Great stick by Kozlo yeah, on I, the Sigma shot attempt. We talked about him, one of the unsung heroes on this team. No, not a lot of people mention him, but if you're a defenseman, I don't need to mention you a lot. You that's, know? that's what you want. DiMartino, passive ahead, misses him. Oh, pops out front. Reds misplayed that. Luckily, no one was there for the sniper's sake. Here comes Hawkins, fires a shot, and that one is stopped. I will go on record. I, I personally feel like Redmond has not been playing the Redmond hockey that I think a lot of people are used to. Um, and that's why I said, I think if you're black ice and you get that first goal, that is a lot of confidence you can get starting this game For sure. with the absence of, of KJ and Billy. For sure. See Martino shoots, that one's blocked, goes up and out of play. And it's not a secret. I mean, everybody knows it. I mean, y you know that Reds has allowed some goals here in, in in tournaments and I think Black Ice knows that that they have to get an early jump on them. The the game against Marsblade especially yesterday, I, I didn't see much of the second half, but that first period, oh my goodness, I love it. Fox I love and, it. Fox and D Martino. They'll probably do that later tonight too. Oh I love it. <laughs> After everything's done. Now Fox has the puck now. Shane Fox has won quite a few gold medals while playing for Black Ice. Here comes Hawkins up the floor. He's won some golds playing for his squad right now, too. Long range shot, that one's blocked. Comes back to Fox, he shoots. Pat stopped by Machinsky. There, there's just so much familiarity in this game. These guys have played each other so many times through the last five, six years. There, there's so much familiarity. Both, both coaches know what's at stake here. Both coaches know how both teams play. I, I, this is no going to be a tight. Yep, this that's is going to be a tight, tight game. That's why we overanalyze things sometimes because it's just you know a lot of the same guys playing against each other, even if they're on different teams. It's just who's going to be better that day? In front, save made, rebound, and that one goes to the corner. And he just changed, but you know who's looked good for Black Ice? Who, who's been humming a little bit? John Healy. John Healy has actually kind of made his presence be known in this tournament, which, yeah. you know, good for him. A little bit of an elder statesman. Yep. Um, John Healy has played very well. New, New York native, if I'm not mistaken. Um, had a cup of coffee at Lindenwood my freshman year. 
had to leave after that. But uh, no, John Healy uh, has really, he's, he's played well. It looks like he's lost a bit of weight. He looks good. He has, yes. I mean, he had to leave Linwood because probably ruined with you and it ruined it, right? No, no, there, there are other factors at play. Pass to the far side by Kraft. Kish sends it in front. Redmond plays it to the corner. Puck on the boards. Nice battle win there. Schultz has also been a man possessed this tournament. Schultz has played very, very well. Matt Gerger. Still fooling me with that full cage. Shot and the same made <laughs> right. by Reds. So it, right now, it's not one of those games where it seems like both teams have lulled you to sleep, which it could have gotten to. Both Early on, yes. Early on, yeah. It, both teams have taken their chances here. It's been a pretty physical game also early on, which I like to see. Face-off win for the Snipers. Pass up ahead finds Kavaya. PJ. Drop pass for Sigmund. Sigmund now turns it back. Sigmund, a fine wine. Just aging and doesn't seem like he's ever losing a step, losing his hands, anything like that, man. Guy is... Uses the tallest stick in the division. He's the second shortest. One in a million. Right. And he does it everywhere. Yep. He can score. He's defensive minded. He kills penalties. It's just. Here comes Matt White, a sleeping giant. Wrist shot. That one is blocked. Comes back to him. White shoots and scores. You said it, Treft. You said it. White hasn't scored as much as we've seen him score in the past. And he might just come out in the, in the semifinal or finals and just start scoring and scoring and scoring. And open a scoring up here. It's great for the snipers to see him get on the board. That's a great look for the snipers. Very gratuitous bounce here as he comes in. He's one on one with, uh, after he gets around Shava, one on one with Nate Gerger. The puck comes off Nate's shin pads, comes right back out to White Stick. And Chinny, Chinny's reacting on that first attempt, and so he, he's kind of out of position. Can I see that go one more time? Because I got a question for you, too. But go yeah. Ahead. Well, we'll play it next stoppage. There you go, here George. There it is. Okay. Just here, real quick here. Nothing's happening on the rink, so just hold off with me. Does this have to be better here? Yes, I agree. The the swab, Flat -footed. swipe. Flat-footed. Flat-footed. Yeah, you got to keep moving. You know. Okay, thank Bad you guys. Bad angle. Here comes Hawkins. Shot. That one's blocked it up and out of play. When you know Matty, when you know Matt White is coming down, you better get moving early. Yep. Yep. And I know it's a tough one. And I'm not picking on guys. I'm not picking on guys, but you'd like to see that be defended a little bit better. Because now he's got so much speed going into the zone. Shot off the face off. Machinsky makes the save. You know, he's got so much speed going into the zone. And, and I always tell my forwards that, listen, it's your job. Even if they get by you, it's your job to make it difficult to get into the zone first. Yeah. And then it's also your job Slow to down. force them on the back check so it's easier for the defenders. You know, everybody's got to work out here. But, and it's no blame game. You know, it's our job to just pick stuff apart, you know. Buck comes in, Akerger protects the puck, gets to Schultz. Schultz into the slot, it's knocked away. He wanted a teleprompter or a telestrator, Jeff. Billy Pascali getting a shift. Bielstein over to Hawkins. He missed a wide open net. Don't see that too often. No. I think I think Billy in this game is going to be a face-off specialist. They uh, they put him they put him down in a face-off in their zone, and and now he's kind of stuck out there, battling a little bit of an injury. Oh, wow. not, not as much playing time as uh, as he's you would get go. from Billy. He makes a great back check. They also have KJ available. No, he's is KJ dressed. Not that he's going to play, but yeah, I thought he was. Yeah, he's middle of the bench. Charlie Combs behind the net here in his hometown. Over to Guzman, long way from home. San Jose kid coming into the zone. Drop pass. Charlie Combs missed it, but he goes back to get it. Plenty of time. Out of Kyle Kramer. Back to Guzman. Guzman, long shot. That one goes over top of the net. What did I say before, Treff, that we had to get back to play? Darn it, it was something good. You're getting a bunch of texts. You said you were going to talk about them next week. Nah, time. it was something just a minute ago. It's all right. 
It's almost frustrating how well Guzman fits into a, a, a powerhouse like the Snipers, and, he, they, and they pluck him, and, and all oh of a sudden. Goodness. So right. Now, now it's just like, yeah, Guzman's on that squad because well, snipers, he just plays so well with them. The Snipers always have one young kid. That they, you know, Shane Fox was that, and he became a mainstay. Well, Guzman, he, his first tournament, he became a mainstay. So they're going to have another young kid here soon. Didn't Dunn play for them once, too? Dunn he might have. We, we watched, yeah. Tommy Tui and I watched uh, the 2017 game that you called that we played um, the Snipers in the quarterfinals, one versus eight in Detroit. Okay. Um, at, at the Palma Pro Invitational in 2017. And Tillerson was their young buck mm, in yes, that game. Yes, yes, yes. Tillerson was their young buck that year, and they went on to kind of just walk through the rest of that playoff. They kind of diced Palma and uh, really put the spikes to uh, Black Ice in that championship game. But Tillerson was their young guy in that game, or in that year. Matt White gets a step over to the near side, and Jack Combs missed a wide open net. But guys, if you're Black Ice, you're terrified right now because Matt White is dialed in. Yeah, yeah. And he's been quiet, like I said, the Sleeping Giant all tournament. And I even said in the last broadcast, I just have a feeling he's just going to explode. They're all over the four check here, Treft. And that's what Matt White's doing right now. Should have two assists, but <laughs> Ice keep missing the net on him. <laughs> BJ Kavaya off the boards for Jack Combs. A man amongst boys every game he plays. And, and again, I, I I talked to you about this yesterday, Trev. It, 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 having to put DiMartino up as a forward, I, I really think um, hinders Black Ice's game. I, I really do. I, as good and as talented as PJ is, it's no knock on him. But, man, the way he commands the play, for, like, just right now, look at that. You got Fox coming down the slot with speed, and PJ's not one of those guys back. There's Healy, left wing side, fakes the shot, now takes it, that one goes wide. Sneaky shot by Healy there, you just like brought you, him up. You gained a great forward, but you lose a great D. A absolutely. So. But the pick, the Kish pickup is huge for that because of the fact that you feel that you can slide Kish back there on D and send PJ up. So that's a huge pickup for them. But, I mean... You, you've got Kozlo, you've got the Gurgers, um, you've got Kish, um, and... and you know, forgive me for kind of forgetting who else. Oh, Mooney. Mooney as well. Kyle yeah. Mooney. But, you know, an embarrassment PJ's of riches. not in his office. PJ's not in his office right. like he usually is where Black Ice is so good with him bringing the puck up yeah. and, and, and being that presence in the defensive zone that, you know, you're, you're kind of, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say shoot, shooting yourself in the foot, but... Man, he's just been such a mainstay and a staple as a D-man for Black Ice for so many years when they've won so many championships. No, you're, you're absolutely right. You wonder how it so who'd does you that put on mess, forward? Does that That's mess it. up any chemistry or because he's not in his regular normal? And of course, listen, PJ's dangerous wherever he is, but how things roll with them, you know? Absolutely. You, you wonder. Put, who do you put up front, Dwyer? If you become Jay Muro and, and you want to keep on defense, who do you switch? You know, That's what I'm saying. Ky Kyle Mooney was a former Conics player, and, and I love Mooney. And he's a solid defenseman and very good moving the puck and, and an offensive threat. I personally think you put Kyle Mooney as a forward and, and you let P.J. just operate the way P.J. knows how to operate. That's a great no call because that stick didn't even come near Brandon Hawkins' face. If you guys can cue that up because I want to play that back, that high stick now, that didn't that, happen. Think about it. Player dives. That was a dive. That's it wasn't an a dive. embellishment too. So, so like, if we could cue that up, that'd be great. I just want to see it again. If not, no problem. But you're so needy, George. I know. <laughs> Speaking I of know. needy, Black Ice is in need of a goal. Shot, and that one is stopped. That's by why Redmond. I'm still single. People call me that all the time. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm still high maintenance. Matt White shoots. That one goes just over Drafties the top. Drafty's even called me high maintenance before. You are high maintenance, and it's not an insult. That's just you. No, it isn't, and I'll, I'll admit it. I want what I want. <laughs> it's <laughs> my money, and I need it now. No, I this. Paul J. G. <laughs> yeah. Free advertising. We, we, I was going to say, we don't need to go through the rest of it, because now it's in my head for the rest right. of the time. So uh, one quick comment from online. Joey Patrizzo hit me up and ask me about the Bobby's Boys uniforms. Where would they rank in pro rankings? I'm going to be honest with you. If Bobby's Boys uniforms were out here as a ranking, it's an easy number one for me. Uh, <clears throat> is that a St. Louis homage? No, that is, Joey Patrizzo is from, I, I believe, 
you're in Long Island, right? New York, New York area. And they <clears throat> played men's at tours, and they had these jerseys with there's a gradient, so it fades from the pink they did, to the blue. They did I think. Miami, the Miami Heat's third jersey. Oh, okay. So kind of pink that. To baby um, blue. It's a tropical gradient. type thing, and those that, colors that, I love. Um, it's a pink, or is it it's Miami a, Vice? Look yeah. yeah. It's, it's a pink to baby blue okay. gradient. It's just like the pink, Miami black, Heat and that, that sky yeah. blue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And for me, that's I love those style of jerseys because you know I drink Malibus. I drink. I drink sex on the beach. I oh. drink. Pass in front. Schultz pulls the trigger, and that one is blocked. So I knew those jerseys. The jer jerseys look like a Georgie Juice box. I'd pro I would probably. <laughs> Malibu crayon and I'd pineapple. I would probably put them at three or four. I thought it might I'm be. I'm not him number one, but I'm still going to put him up high. I like okay. Them. I thought it might be a St. Louis homage for, for uh, Bobby actually, Plager. I actually. Uh, no. and, and, you know, we, we <laughs> some of the boys and I were just down on Main Street at Lloyd and Harry's, a uh, local joint. Please support it. Um, and. Uh, there's, there's a place called Bobby's Place uh, here in St. Charles as well as uh, downtown, for and, and it was the joint that Bobby Plager owned. And Bobby Plager passed away earlier this year, oh, lo local legend um, for the St. Louis Blues franchise. So I didn't know if that was an homage to, to Bobby gotcha. Plager or not. I actually like the black Bobby's Boys jerseys better than the okay. pink and blue. Shot, that one is stopped by Machinsky. All right, you'll have to give me some places to go, too, because you know I'm here till Sunday. So. I'm here till Saturday, bro. Where are we going? Schultz yeah, is trying right, to go we'll to the go front somewhere. of the net right now, you and that one's broken up. You tell me where. I got you. DiMartino, out high, shallow between his own legs. Nice play. Gets to Mooney. Mooney down the right boards. Gets around the back of the net. Black guy's threatening for the first time in a while. His centering you, pass missed. Beautiful play by Shabo. Almost able to get um, the, the sniper's uh, defenseman caught flat-footed with that transition from one side of his body to another and dropping it off to another one of his teammates. That was an awesome play by Shavo to create a little space there. Sniper's not making the mistake many teams did during the round robin and giving Shavo space. Rest shot, that one's blocked. Kozlo tries to play it down low, it's blocked. Now Bielston tries to go cross rink, DiMartino intercepts. Back to Hawkins, he has it. You know who hasn't been relevant in this game so far, and it's early, he'll wake up, is Tyler Kraft. Snipers yeah. have done a really good job. We even, I don't even know if I've said his name they're once. Not giving, listen, they're not giving them any room. And they've had possession for most of the game. Shots yeah. are 5-5, five, five, but it seems to me that like the back, Black Ice shots came way since, early. Since that first goal by the Snipers and Matt White, yes, I, I believe Black Ice has had a, a, a very sizable advantage in the time of possession. Fox in, shoots, Machinsky the save. Or? Black Ice, Black yeah, ice. yeah, Black Ice, my apologies. Wait, who's had the advantage? Black Ice, since, since the goal the Snipers have scored, I feel like Black Ice has had the puck a lot more gotcha. since, since then. Gotcha. Snipers I have had those chances, right. but they haven't maintained any sort of like offensive zone Even um, with possession. the possession, I'm, I, I think that they're just not getting, giving them any room, you know? Yeah. Snipers aren't giving them any room. Well, it looks like Whitey's going every other shift here because he's feeling it. And that was probably that high stick that I asked for, and I didn't get to. Sorry, guys. Thanks. I didn't even know you put it put it up there. My bad. Sorry, guys. You're doing a great job on the truck, though. AKA doing table to our right. You said that two days ago. Let me get my truck off. Mr. Video Online, big shout out for streaming and bringing the folks at home. Very quality stream of the Prama Pro Invitational 2021 action here at the Recplex. What we'll is send, send it to you for all the commercials to Maybe. Maybe. Because you're Maybe. dialed in. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Palmer Pro next year. Like on a video game? Put me or? on Futures. <laughs> As a goalie? Hey, I'll take it. <clears throat> I'm sure your team won't. Matt White. <laughs> Back to Shane Fox. Now Matt White shot that one goes wide. As long as Puglisi and Christopher on the Futures teams, 50 times better than I was at that age, so it doesn't matter. They're, they're, yeah. they're fine. They're as set. long as Ron Bielstein isn't playing, I think he'll be okay, George. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> It'll be a rematch soon. Forever 0-1, George. Soon. Forever 0-1. No. No. I'm not claiming that. That comb shot, that one goes wide. There'll be a rematch soon. There's actually a video you can find it online. I was going to say, there is film of that, yeah? I filmed it, I Ro recall. Ronnie, Ronnie is very adamant about bringing that resurfacing. I know, video. I know. That's I just want to see George skate again, because that was the best part. That, that's another conversation for another day. George, George is already 
taking an L today, as have I. Hello. So we don't need to. Our, our B brought it up the last time. He yeah, said. I know he did. That was hilarious. He said, uh, George, people may make fun of your skating and everything like that, but the form that you had. Sorry, here, here you go, Treft. Guzman in. Wrist shot. Punched away by Machinsky. He said, the form that you had when I scored that goal and you skated off the rink, best form I've seen from a goalie in a while. Ronnie B, always good for a subtle, uh, subtle dry chirp. Pass up to Guzman with one minute to go in the period. Now Charlie Combs. Back pass for Sigmon. Sigmon. Retreats into his own end. 45 seconds to go now. I think the snipers are content with get, just getting out of this period. Sigmund. Either one of these teams would be fine with a 1 nothing win. So don't expect anything to be forced here at all for the rest of this game. Sigmund's got 10 seconds to stand back there with 20 seconds left in the period. Now he comes out. Back to Guzman. Guzman off the boards. Charlie Combs. Gets around Matt Gerger. He gets around the back of the net. They're looking for Sigmund at the back door. Saucer pass is too high, and that ends period number one. Period one comes to a close. Shots on goal were six to five in favor of the snipers, and they lead one nothing on the scoreboard. SWH Live, I'm Chris Dreft, he's Kevin Dwyer, he's George Brown, we're having a heck of a time. Uh, just, just like you said, George, going into that period, I mean, it's one to zero. Um, again, a matchup that everybody has seen time and time again. I don't foresee this getting over, uh, getting over five goals in this game. No, you're right about that. And I, I'll tell you this much, that puck is gold in this game. Possession is huge here. There hasn't been any back and forth end to end action. This is not going to be a shootout. Like you said, it's a tight checking game. No one's getting much room at all. There was that one rush beginning of the game, and then everybody shut it down. Shut it down defensively. And I think you're going to see the same, same thing in the second period. Very methodical and calculated game. Uh, you know, McManus, Miro have met each other plenty of times in games like this. Um, so t two teams who just know each other very, very well. Um, and you touched on it too, a game like this, is this the game where you really see Black Ice hurting with limited amount of Billy and very, I mean, KJ's dressed, but I don't think he's gonna really play too, too much. You look at it and how many times have we seen games like this where KJ or Billy score that big goal? Have a big face off. Big face. Have a bit, yeah. It, Not to say that they don't have those guys on the or team. Or when, when they do get a power play. Right. Just, Power plays lethal with those Not two. to say they don't have those guys on the team who can rise above that and, and be that guy. But missing those two is huge. And as we're saying it, it's only one to zero. Yeah. It's one to yeah. zero here going one into period two. Um, Matt White has uh, the puck's been finding him. It's been um, fun to watch. His partner in crime, Jack Jumbo Combs, always lethal. There, there's just there's just so much to like about this matchup between players on both rosters. So we'll uh, we'll be buckling up here for the second period. Absolutely, let's get to it. Puck is down, period two, underway. Chris Treft along with Kevin Dwyer in downtown Georgie Brown. Second period has commenced. Pretty good crowd here for a semifinal. Taking the puck, Sigmund. You said the puck is gold. And the snipers, much like the color on their jerseys. Golden so far with possession. Matt White to Kavaya. Over for Sigmund. Slowly across the line. You're going to see this a lot. Coming into the zone and then turning back. Now it's P.J. Cavaya. That's, oh, nope, that's you. George is leaving us. George has got to go coach some PA kids. 
Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, George. Long shot from White. Machinsky makes a save. Machinsky's going to have to be big in this period because you know the snipers are going to pick and choose their rushes. And when they do, it's going to be a quality chance. So they're not going to take the shot. Well, obviously, if you're Black Ice, he's your horse. Uh, he, he's the guy that you've won plenty of championships with. You've won games like this in. Um, so, yes, you're right, Chinny's going to be, uh, he's got a tall task ahead of him, but if anybody's capable of doing it, it is Mike Machinsky. Here comes Ryan Kish. Tried to center it, that one's blocked. Kraft couldn't quite get to it. Tommy Bruce, over to Shane Fox. Fox, backhand, toe drag, beautiful move, back to the forehand, and Machinsky denies it with the pad. How quick was that backhand toe drag? Fox shoots over top of the net. That, that was seamless. Now Schultz, wrist shot, that one's deflected wide. Poked to the corner by Redman. Fired by Schultz down the length of the floor. Chinsky around the back of the net. Played down low by Kozlo. Hawkins wreaking havoc, one on two. And Black Ice comes away with the puck. Hawkins playing some heavy hockey there. Throwing the weight around, throwing his frame around a bit. Guzman smacks it back into his own zone. Kramer leaves it for Greg Thompson. Sets up behind the goal. Now he curls back. Puck comes to Guzman. Guzman back to Greg Thompson. No sets of urgency for the snipers, but you wouldn't expect them to have any. And according to the the shot clock or the shot counter on the scoreboard, thir only 13 shots in this game. Um, as we're uh, as we're nearing here, 21 minutes into the game, 13 shots. Very, again, very methodical. Very chess match type game here. Guzman drop pass, Kramer shoots and scores! <laughs> Guzman backs everybody off with the speed, drop pass for Kramer, and he rips it past Machinsky, 2-0. I, I had touched on it a little bit earlier, the snipers are so good at layering their offense, and, and just as you said there, Trefty, nice little outlet from Thompson to Guzman. Guzman with the wheels, He's going up against what looks like Nate Gerger, backs him down, drops it to Kramer. Kramer with a perfect lane and a great shot. One chin he wishes he had back. But that's the name of the game there. Great, great execution by the snipers and Guzman to force that space that, uh, that Black Ice allowed Kramer to get that shot from. Puck was dropped, but the players were impeding on the circle a little bit, so we'll redo it. Puck is down. Pascali getting a shift here. At this point, is that uh, we need some life? We'll see if Pescali can get us something. I'd like to think that he's out there for the draw he again. Didn't, like he didn't take it. He didn't even take it, did no, he? No, he didn't take the face off. That's I, why. I, I don't know why he then that you throw him out there if he's not taking that draw. Because if he takes that draw, I think you got much higher chances of Black Ice getting possession. Or do you give somebody a break? Kind of a shorter bench for Black Ice. Say, go out there, play some man-to-man -man defense. Don't kill yourself. Now, I, I was telling Phelps last night that I think, you know, you can go top five, like George was saying, players in this sport today or at this tournament. I told Phelps, I think, I think Nathan Sigmund is top three in the world. You don't see a lot of the stuff that he does because it's kind of one of those things that when you're in games, you see it. It took me all of Spain to, or you know, a couple years ago in the World Championships with with him on our USA team for Spain to see it. The, the amount of confidence that guy has with the puck and, and his ability and and just the way he can get guys off of off of their even kilter as they're backing up and he's coming down on them. I mean, S Sigmund does so many little things right and 
yeah, he's on the snipers. I would say he's an unsung hero, but so many of the little things that he does just kind of go unannounced. And, and uh, again, I think he's one of the top three players in, in the world. And the snipers might have three of the top five. But also, like, what do you look at, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's Alex, all, it's all, Alexander uh, Ovechkin versus Crosby is such a dumb argument. They're completely different players. Yeah. I, I guess you could put it as Like, a, Brandon Hawkins is the best pure goal scorer, and that's not even a question, right? Yep. Well, <laughs> and, then, and then he's got a line mate, Matt White, who, I mean, you could throw his hat in that argument yeah. for sure, too. I would say strictly, strictly... Like, if you're a GM and you're building a team. Roller hockey, sense, IQ, and ability. I think I think Sigmund is one of those guys' no? top three. Uh, I'll say hot take, sure. So you'd rather have Sigmund than no on your team? If, if I had the first overall pick in, yes, a draft of, of, of like, a fantasy draft, uh, I, I would, Sigmund would be heavily, heavily considered. John Chavo, nice toe drag broken up by Shane Fox. Hawkins, that's not a terrible play because, hear me out, like he clearly was trying to push Chavo in the net to knock it off. You have Black Ice, who has the puck. Snipers have been great on draws. Push him into the net, get Chavo off his game a little bit, hopefully, and, you know, for his thinking. And now you get a face-off where the snipers keep putting face-offs. There's not too many people who get that ability to do that play though. I'll say that. <laughs> what do you mean? Like the wherewithal? Some, somebody else throws somebody in the net and that, that could be either a delay game or you know, th things like that. Yeah. The refs don't want to get give Hawkins a penalty because he might shoot a puck at him and kill him. <laughs> Pass off the boards. Kramer missed it. Takes a digger. Here comes Matt Gerger, right wing side. Shot, saved by Redman. Pass back to Kramer. Right wing side, Kramer to Guzman. Guzman shoots, save Machinsky. Way to stand tall there by Chinny. Uh, mo moving from his left to his right, that pass from Kramer over to Guzman. Guzman looking for the far side, high glove shot. Chinny able to stand tall. Redman with a big save there earlier too, uh, ju just before that rush on um, the younger Matt Gerger. Not the youngest, but the younger, the middle child, Matt Gerger. Oz Tursik agrees with it, Kev. As far as Sigmund? Yeah. All right. What's up, Terse? If anybody has any other players you would take over Nathan Sigmund, let me and Dwyer know. A chance here for Black Ice. That would have been huge. But Mooney just ran out of space. For scratch that, it was Kozlo. Don't see him down there too much. Steady Eddie defensively. Had a break at the net, beautiful move, but it was poked away last second. Now Matt White in, shoots, tried to go five hole, full Machinsky, but he covers it up and gets the whistle, 10.51 left in the second. Uh, Kyle Aldrich said Sigmund is number one in my book. There you go, everybody so, agreeing with you. So, I mean, I'd like to think it's not a far-fetched yeah. thing. These are all coming from players that have played against him. Yep. Mooney into the zone. Dropped his shovel. He wraps it around the boards. Now Kozlo missed it. Tried to impede Jack Combs, but Matt White gets to the puck first. There's refs everywhere down there in the court. <laughs> now Matt White. Bl Black Ice is a little out of sync. Uh, again, looking up at that shot counter, six shots. And here we are, uh, some mental math, 26 minutes into the game. And they've only got six shots. And man, that ain't going to do it against a guy like Redmond, against a team like the Snipers. They, they've really got to figure out a way to funnel pucks to the net, create maybe a little bit of a pick, create a little space on, on a rush. Um, time is not on their side at this moment, the way it's been going. Scully is getting a consistent shift now. Now it's Shane Fox. He's had a great playoff. Fox, stutter step, shoots, save made by Machinsky. You mentioned that. He's had a great playoff. In our game earlier, 
We tie it up late, make it two to two. And as you see, official Mike Sarter. Timeout taken by Black Ice Timeout here. Timeout taken by Black Ice with 941. Maybe, maybe Miro hurt, hurt me. But um, as mentioned, Fox comes down. We tie this game up. Snipers, I believe, get possession off, off the faceoff. And Fox wheels. Not a good gap on Fox. He gets around the first guy. He's coming down my right side. I think he's taking that shot because he's wheeling, he's got speed, he's on his forehand, and he's got the presence of mind to look over, pass it over to Jumbo Jack Combs. He really wasn't even looking. He's made a blind pass. Oh, my beautiful. goodness. But he put, it, he put it right where it needed to go, and gosh dang it, difference in the game. But you're right, Fox Golly is G. very, very sound. Very, very sound, Mr. Fox. Was he in 95, 96? I think 95. 95. 95, I think. Because there's that PA Chavo's 95 Chavo's 94. Team. I think Fox is in 95. I, I think Crafty's in 96. Oh, I, I know they're all different spots, but Black Ice kind of, you know. Black Ice connection within the realm. Can't even look Foxy up. He didn't. I don't know if you played too much. Larry Adagoki. Siggy is number one. No is number two. Better question, who is number three? In that. what aspect? Goal scoring, defense. Kavaya might I, be the best defensive defenseman. Yep. Uh, I, and then Matt White is up there. Whitey hasn't played in three years, and four he, yeah, years, until great. until this tournament. And he still looks great, don't yeah. get me wrong. I mean, you win a Dell championship, it ain't going to hurt yeah. you. Or do you, go, do you go with Adam Ernie, a guy who's getting into roller now, even though he plays the NHL during the year. Pass over to Bielstein to the back door, and Tommy Bruce just mishandled it. You know, do you go, do Number you go Adam three, Ernie all, with it? Are we, and again, like you're saying, are we talking all round? Because that, that's that's my thing. Siggy, Siggy ain't going to score you a ton of goals, but he's going to do so many little things in the realm of roller hockey correctly that he is such an addition to your team. Or do you go with Shane Fox, maybe? You could go or do with, you go Fox. with Tyler Kraft, you could, who's got the puck? I, you could go P.J. DiMartino. You could also go Brett Olinger. Roller hockey, like IQ-wise, I mean, I, I don't... I think you can throw Oli's hat in the mix. I don't know. That Larry Larry kind of posed it to us. That's a that's a good. Yeah, so uh, if you get the third overall pick, who do you take? You yeah, know? that's tough. Ryan Kish, back into his own zone. Big collision in the corner. Puck pops free. Comes up the boards. Big play by Sigmund. Kavaya to Kramer. Kramer tries to get to the front. Still has it. Drop pass for Kavaya. Shot that goes over top of the net. Oh. What about Spezia? With his speed. Pure speed. He has a ton of speed and gosh, does he have a release. And, and he, you know, I would say in his older, you know, like he's getting older, he's in 93, he's 28. I'm, I'm going to be 28 soon. Um, Spezia is one of the very more reliable forwards who gets back and plays the two-way roller game. Yeah. Number three, man, a healthy Billy Pascali. I think his hat's in the mix, too. God, he wins face-offs. He does so many little things right. What about but, uh, Junior Cadiz? Yeah, exactly. He into the zone, fakes the shot, looks. Gets on his backhand, sends it in front, blocked. Wrist shot by DiMartino, it's cleared to the corner. Or even, here's a hot take. What about Jared Gerger? At number three. I mean, well, I mean, just think about it. Look at all he's done. Dude, he the plays kid on a was, different team every tournament and dominates. Buzzing this weekend. He was huge for our team this weekend. Ely has shot that goes into the corner. I mean, he was unbelievable at tours. He got his team to the playoffs. Black Biscuit, Inferno. Like, I'm saying, obviously, he's it's, a force. it's controversial, but if you're going for, you know, to use NHL references and stuff, are you going to go rising star longevity? 
He could be Nathan Sigmund in three years. He's almost there now. I mean, look at him. Everywhere he goes, he dominates. He's on a different team every tournament, but he always has a great tournament. If the Gerger clan is listening, hey, he, he's got to stick with the Conics boys. I mean, we'll get him going, all right? We'll get him plenty of rink time. And he's gonna, he ain't got to worry about that. So, Gergs, stick with stick with your guns, bud. What about Hawkins? Sit to the front of the net. What about Gooseman? Now you're just getting crazy. <laughs> the fantasy draft is real. Like, what about, you know, do you go with a guy who has more years available? Do you go with a guy who has a good job or doesn't play as much? <laughs> do you go with a goalie? Go with a goalie? <laughs> Gotta call that. Gotta call that. Can't not call it. Look at Pascal. He barely played all tournament. Now he's drawing penalties. Deuce, deuce, Tommy Bruce. Tomahawk Bruce says he's also known. <laughs> <laughs> Tomahawk Tommy. Tomahawk Bambino. Man, that stinks if you have to pay for your own sticks. Let me get him chopped in half. You know what's funny? We haven't said Chavo's name a lot this game. Yeah, what about Chavo at this number could three? Be, this could be a big a big turning point here. And Mr. KJ making an appearance on the power play. I believe this is exactly why he's suited up for this game, just to be on the power play. Not that John Healy's done a bad job, but nope, can you nope, replace exactly. KJ Tiefenworth? We're going to need a towel here. The nerves are getting to someone. Someone sweating like crazy out there. Larry Adagoki, dare I say John John? And then he said, talking all round draft. What else? What about say? Garrett Ross? If you're talking John John, very similar players. And then he said, tell Treff to shut up. He's going off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Okada, Garrett Ross is a game changer. Just said that. Yeah, you did. Penalty killing. You did. He could be the best penalty killer. Him and John John are tied. God, John John's, the way that guy's playing right now, man, he is. So hot right he's now. He's a force. He's on every banner in here. He's a tour guy. He's on a tour and a Mars Blade Smart banner. Mars Blade guy. Dan Costanza the other day said. He's what? a LaBeta guy. He said, what, what brand's this guy for? And I just looked at him, I said, he's a marketable guy. Yeah, all of them. All of marketable them. guy. If black guys can bury here, that gives them hope. If, if they aren't able to put one in until after this power play, I, I don't think they're able to surmount the, the deficit that they're uh, facing right now. They have to, they absolutely have to bury on this power play. And it's not a good start with a face-off loss. Puck comes out. Sigmund's got a, Sigmund's got a little uh, a Nelly, a Nelly nose job going on. He's got a little bandage over the nose right now. Not craft. under the cheek or on the forehead, but man, that is noticeable. DiMartino to Kraft. Chavo. This is their normal power play with KJ out there. Kraft shoots. That one stops. Chavo gets to the rebound, puts it into the crease, and it's cleared by Sigmund. Sigmund gets slammed down to the corner. No. no! Absolutely not. Oh, man, I'm disheartened by that call. And KJ's fired up as he should be. I, I, I don't know. We can run that again, but, man, that's KJ stepping up, trying to make a play and make a battle on a puck. And the, the, the crowd's letting the official hear it. So you got the replay there, and here comes KJ now. He cuts across, tries to... No, th there's intent to play the puck there. There's intent to play the guy and play the puck. I, I, I disagree with that call. That's me, and here we are, three on three. And Black Ice now with an even bigger challenge. Well, at least it's three on three. That doesn't put them shorthanded. It does take away their power play, though. I'm just looking at the positives here. Big positivity guy. John Chavo, out high. Takes the drop pass. Now he turns that way. Chavo. 
Long shot, that's blocked. Shot was getting no room. Snipers now, know who to shut down. Not finding any lanes. His big thing, he's got lanes and he's got a shooting lane. He's gonna take it and more times than not, he's gonna bury it. The snipers, as, as you said, to their credit, not giving them any lanes. Looks like an all-star game out there right now. Sigmund in, shoots, Machinsky makes a save. A power play here for the snipers now, but Black Ice has the puck. Pass misses Kraft, comes to center. Matt White, Shane Fox. Fox to White, deflected in front, goes off the post. This could be a real nail in the coffin for Black Ice if Snipers can score here. Broken up by, by Kraft. Kraft. Kraft doesn't just throw it, he keeps it. And KJ out of the penalty box, comes right into the play. Kraft, nice toe drag, back hits it in front, shot with a huge save. Now in front for Kraft, he shoots, it's blocked. Kraft trying to get a loose puck. It's bouncing all over the place and taken here by Jack Combs. Down the left wing side, Combs over the dot. Looking, shooting, cross for it down. No goal. KJ needing to get to the bench. He hit a he hard back check. He's kind of staggering now a little bit. Kraft right wing side. He's buzzing as of late. Healy down low. Get to Shabo, he fires it back into his own zone. I, I think at two minutes, Chinny's out of the net. Now, they're calling him now, there it is. 220. Trying to get the right personnel out there. They get one more. They send out Matt Gerger, Shabo, Kraft. They're gonna wanna force this to the left side. They're gonna make Gerger do more of that work on the left side. There's no KJ. You don't want to give that to Kraft or Shavo. JP Bilston shoots for the empty net, and that's going to go wide. DiMartino behind the net, battling with Charlie Combs, gets around him. Here comes DiMartino. Now to Shavo. Shavo. To nobody. This one's knocked away. Great effort by DiMartino to force Combs to slow down a bit and allow Matt Kruger to get to that puck. John Chavo into his offensive zone, pass to the right side, DiMartino down low. They get it out high, Kraft to the far side, Chavo doesn't pull the trigger, back to DiMartino. Tries to slide at the back door for Pascali, knocked away. They're all moving, none of them are stationary right now. They can't get a hold Kraft, on the puck. quick slap shot, that goes over top of the net, comes back out front, and it's swept away. Guzman fires it off the boards, just misses Sigmund. DiMartino to Shavo. Shavo shoots, saved by Redmond. Minute and two left, and it's held onto by Redmond. And, and don't forget, Black Ice burned their timeout with 10 minutes left in the second period. Um, you know, I think Jay Mira wanted to make a couple adjustments, but man, you got your guns out there now. This would be a... With how, with how good the snipers have yeah. been on face-offs, do you put your goalie back in? Or have him at the top of the circles? I mean, you got Billy out there right now. I think I, I'll go on it. I'll say Billy wins this draw. Very reliable. Going up against Beal's team. And he wins it. Good call, Dwyer. Oh, the puck's no. rolling, though. Gets away from Kraft. Beal's team for the empty net. He scores. Wins it in a mishandle. Oh, my goodness. That's tough. That's tough. Billy did what he needed to do. The puck just wouldn't settle down for Tyler Kraft there. Bielstein able to push forward and get, it, get, his, uh, get a handle on the puck and put it in the empty net. Man, killer. Face off at center. Face off one by the Snipers. They have the puck, 47 seconds left to go. The game is all but done. You know the Snipers have the puck, so they're gonna take their time with it. Walker on the back of the net. Fired off the glass. Matt Gerger knocks it down. Tries to send up ahead. Charlie Combs advances. Combs shoots. Pat Stotmachinski. 
Since for all intents and purposes, we're kind of looking at the end of this game, JC Compagna, you said, goal scorer is always being overlooked. How's Hawkins not in top three? Best score, goal scorer roller hockey has seen. And I can't disagree with that. I, I put him in a maybe. The Vaya. I can't disagree with that by any means. Shoots as the clock was expiring. Black Ice didn't like that. As the horn sounds and the snipers advance to another Palma Pro Championship game. And that, my friends, is our final semi. Just an, a sniper-like performance. They had, they had everything. They got great penalty killing. They got great offense, great goal scoring. Goal tending. Goal tending. It just, it all worked as we see the handshake line now and it pops back to us. Dwizy, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing well. That was a fun game. I, you know, you, you want you want to see Black Ice score one and uh, make it make it a little closer than it being one nothing the whole time or two to nothing for a decent amount of the game. Um, George touched on it. Ultimately, this is a game where you don't have KJ and Billy going every every shift, every other shift, and you know, even late in the game when it's two nothing, Billy goes yep. out there, wins a face off, does what he needs to do, and the puck just doesn't settle down for Tyler Kraft. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. A, lot just, of, a lot of little things. Those injuries just killed their depth too, right? That, the big guns might have just been tired at the end. They might have just ran out of gas. Snipers get a good bounce on their first goal. Matt White comes down, shoots it right into Nate Gerger's shin pads, bounces serendipitously right onto White's tape, and Chinny reacting to the first shot. Um, he's out of position. Matt White able to bury it for what's ultimately the game-winning goal. Yeah, the snipers got quite a few bounces that game. Yeah. I'm not saying that's why they won, but Puck Lock really certainly helped them. They still had to work hard, too. And they, I'm not going to say they outworked Black Ice, but I think they outworked them smartly. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, they, 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 they went to work in the right areas, and when they got the puck, they didn't turn it over really ever. Um, it was just a, a flawless performance. I mean, 3 nothing. Yeah, with an empty netter, but can you get more flawless than that? Absolutely, and and you know you touched on it too. They they did all the work and they did all the right things in the times of the game that they needed to do. Um, things like sending it back, things like winning a couple loose puck races, faceoffs, um, and, and again, you, you don't have guys like like KJ and Billy really readily available to go every shift. You see what that you see what transpires when that happens. You see kind of how the game comes down. Um, you know, KJ gets out there for one power play. He hasn't played one shift the whole game. Ends up running into, I believe it was Sigmund, takes a penalty on his own. It's not something he wants to do, but you don't have a feel for that game when you're not going in no. and you go in cold and, and things like this kind of happen. So um, I wouldn't say I'm surprised that this was the, uh, the finish, but 20, I'm looking at the clock right now, 25 shots total in that game. And uh, a 36 minute game. Yeah, in a 36 minute game, that's really not a ton of shots. I no. mean, it, it was it was a calculated, methodical game by the snipers, to say the least. I'm gonna put you on the spot, Dwyer. Who you got in the final and the score? You know what? I'm gonna go hot take. Uh, Palma's been reeling. Palma for them to get out of that game against the Roadrunners. Um, they they got a little momentum coming out of Narch. Um, I'm gonna say Palma. Let's go six to four. 6-4, so a lot more goals than in this one. I think Palma 6-4 in the next game. Well, 8.30 Central Time will be puck drop for the championship game. Are you joining us for the championship tour? I won't be. I, I apologize. I won't be there. We're at an Airbnb. We're in St. Louis. So we're going to go downtown. We're not too far from the Arch. We're going to go back, and uh, we're going to have the live stream up on the TV. We got Roku. I don't know if you heard <laughs> of that. We got Roku. Wait, where, uh, where, but do you, or, where do you think I live? A little... <laughs> Or a little cast from a from. I don't live um, in Roanoke, Indiana anymore. I can get some Roku going. So. Or a laptop, but yeah, no, we've been uh, we've been tuning in every like before we get to the rink, before we leave, we we've been tuning in every time. So I think we're gonna tune into that stream. I will not be here for the championship, but the old faithful downtown George Brown should be. Him and Trefty are gonna bring this to you. Um, should be a great championship. I'm 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 actually pretty pleased. It's not Black Ice and uh, you know snipers. I mean last year was Black Ice and Roadrunners. So it, it is nice to have Palma and there's a little bit of a new flavor. Yeah. They got those sweet red jerseys that you guys love. You and George both love. Yes. So <laughs> so it'll be good. Palma and Snipers, uh, not a matchup we saw in Round Robin either or no. anything. So this will no, no, really no, be no a good matchup. Matchups. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, 
Dwyer, thanks for joining me. Thank thanks you. for all the hard thank work. Thank you, State Excellent Wars tournament. Hockey Live. That was uh, fun. Mr. Video Online Streaming, can't thank you guys enough for being out here to bring uh, bring a very quality product to everybody watching at home. So now I don't know what to do with myself because I have this weird thing called a break in the day. There's no championships. Wow. I can go, I, I, Why don't you I call Bailey? Do <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you call Bailey? I think she'll appreciate that. Yeah, well, let's see if I uh, get some time to call old Bales yes. during the break. Absolutely. But that break will come to an end with the Pama Pro Championship game. $25,000 will be on the line. Pama Labeda Gold Knights, Mission Labeda Snipers. We'll see you in a little bit.